In his 2012 book The Crisis of Zionism, Peter Bienart, a prominent American Jewish writer and political commentator, presents a compelling argument that the continuation of Israel's occupation of the West Bank fundamentally undermines the very foundations of Zionism, the ideology that led to the establishment of the Jewish state. Bienart contends that the occupation not only denies Palestinians their fundamental rights but also erodes Israeli democracy and alienates many American Jews from Zionism itself. Baynard's central arguments in the book can be summarized as follows. 1. The occupation's corrosive effect on Israeli democracy, the ongoing occupation of the West Bank, Baynard argues, is gradually undermining the democratic principles upon which Israel was founded. The expansion of settlements in occupied territories, the unequal application of laws between Israelis and Palestinians, and the erosion of Palestinians' civil liberties have all contributed to a decline in Israel's commitment to democracy. 2. The alienation of American Jewry from Zionism, the increasingly illiberal policies pursued by Israeli governments, particularly under the leadership of Benjamin Netanyahu, have led to a growing sense of alienation among many American Jews, especially younger generations. The perception that Israel is no longer upholding the values of democracy and human rights is causing many American Jews to question their support for Zionism. 3. The need for a new vision for Israel's future. Bienard argues that the current trajectory of Israel's occupation is unsustainable and will ultimately lead to the demise of Zionism as a viable ideology. He proposes a new vision for Israel's future, one that is based on the principles of equality and self-determination for both Israelis and Palestinians. In the latter part of the book, Bienard outlines a series of proposals for how to address the crisis of Zionism and move towards a more just and equitable future for both Israelis and Palestinians. These proposals include 1. Ending the occupation, Bienart advocates for an end to Israel's occupation of the West Bank, arguing that it is the only way to preserve Israel's democratic character and maintain a strong relationship with the American Jewish community. 2. Establishing a Palestinian state, Bienart believes that the establishment of a Palestinian state is essential for achieving a just and lasting peace between Israelis and Palestinians. He calls for a two-state solution, with both Israel and Palestine existing as independent and sovereign nations. 3. Reforming American Jewish Organizations, Bienart criticizes the current state of American Jewish organizations, arguing that they have become too entrenched in the defense of Israel's policies and have lost touch with the concerns of many American Jews. He calls for a more open and honest dialogue about Israel and a willingness to challenge policies that are seen as undermining democratic values. In conclusion, The Crisis of Zionism is a thought-provoking and challenging book that has sparked significant debate about the future of Israel and its relationship with the Jewish diaspora. Baynard's arguments have resonated with many, particularly younger generations of American Jews who are increasingly critical of Israel's occupation and its impact on Palestinian rights. While the book's proposals for a change may face significant obstacles, it offers a valuable contribution to the ongoing dialogue about the future of Zionism and the pursuit of a more just and equitable peace in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict.